If you struggle with shyness or social anxiety, check out our free no BS training course with actual useful advice you can do from home. None of that just get out there nonsense. The link is in the description below. For now, let's get to today's question. The question, what's the bright side of being shy and sensitive? Answer by Ada Dali. There is actually a bright side to being shy. Some people like it and find it quite cute. In a world in which we often come across arrogant, stuck up, cocky people, shyness is an attractive trait. So basically, shyness is attractive. When it comes to being sensitive, it means that you are aware of the impact words and actions can have on other people as you often experience it firsthand. Thus, you will be able to empathize with people more and stand up for those who are being hurt. Being sensitive can also mean you have very powerful and receptive senses. This allows you to detect things other people would not have noticed. E. G. The sound of a bug scurrying across the floor, and good vision would mean this along with being able to see them move out of the corner of your eye would mean you're able to detect them before anyone else who may not even notice it at all. Being as sensitive to touch makes physical affection more meaningful and significant. Being sensitive to smells means you can fully appreciate the smell of flowers and perfume, and can actually use this sense as a skilly. G. When I'm folding up the laundry, I can distinguish which item of clothing belongs to which person just by smell. Having sensitive taste means you get the full experience when eating. So basically, there are a lot more benefits than you think there are. Answer by Armor Kwaja. There is no bright side to being shy. I was shy for years and hated it. Perhaps you mean introverted? When an introvert decides not to attend a social event or talk in a social situation, it is a choice. For a shy person it is not a choice, the shyness prevents them from talking. A shy person is forced by the shyness to not say anything no matter how badly they want and t to say it. I remember when I was shy my shyness prevented me from asking the teacher to go to the bathroom, even if I had to go really bad. I couldn't go to the market, answer the phone, make phone calls, start conversations, ask for help, make friends, speak unless spoken to. The shyness greatly limited what I could do and I missed so many things because of it. Being sensitive and caring about things is not the same as shyness either. I am very sensitive. It helps in my artwork. Sometimes I get hurt emotionally because I care too much but that is fine with me. Answer by Matt Montgomery Shy and sensitive can be viewed as having mystique. Many find it attractive in the fact that they want to delve further into who that person is, to learn things about that person that perhaps no one else knows. As an introverted personality, I avoid social contact, unless I let my inner hideout smiles and know that many people want to know what lies beneath. 